Actress Jenna Bonoy made her mark in television as a teenager, playing the fast-talking best friend Six on the comedy series Blossom. She later spent a five-year run on sitcom The Parkers. So what is Jenna Bonoy doing now? Well, we're going to find out as she joins us in the studio today. You know, there's always a Nashville connection, and you're right here in Nashville. I am. I've been here, I can't believe, nearly a decade already. Really? I yeah. don't think we knew that. I, I'm, you know, a little subtle about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's so great to know that you're here. Thank you. I mean, it's. It, I love it here. I sort of was ready to get some grass back under my feet. I grew up on the East Coast, and I yeah. just needed to get away from that L.A. bubble, and so, uh, right. so I came out here, and I never left. Neat. That's great. Are you in touch with your Blossom and, and the Parker's Cove stars? Yes, actually, I'm in touch with cast members from both, uh, namely Maya Bialik, because she was actually sure. my, we're going to be, I know, talking about breastfeeding in a little bit, um, <laughs> but uh, but she was my go-to guru for all things breastfeeding when I had my first wow. daughter and was struggling through it. And yeah. so, Her so success we've in has touch. been incredible, hasn't Unbelievable, it? Unbelievable, yeah. Big Bang Theory. Yes. Of we're huge fans. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm a huge fan of hers, too, yeah. truthfully. She's pretty amazing. Yeah. yeah. So you came to Nashville. You did some music I did. while you were here, which is fun. Um, but what you're doing these days is writing. Yeah, I actually came back and forth to Nashville initially to write music, mm -hmm. and then I think one thing led to another. And, and as long as I'm writing something, I'm really happy and right. fulfilled. And and uh, and more recently, I'm working on a book that's being released later this year called Situation Momedy. Uh, and it's based sort of on what's going on in your life. Of course, right now. yes, I'm the mother of two, and it's it's all things chaotic and wonderful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and I think you know the the book is really me doing my part to remind women that uh, as serious as the responsibility of being a mom is, it's it's also really serious that we we take some time to laugh about it. <laughs> Got to. Yeah. yeah. I loved reading your blog. I can't wait to see what the book has to offer. Thank the you. The blog is so neat. Thank you. Yeah, I do a, a weekly blog called The Cradle Chronicles. And lately I've been uh, slacking a little bit because of a, a deadline with the book. But um, Well, I think you're allowed to because you have you well, know, you know, a two year old, chasing after a two -year -old and a three month old. And a three month old, yes. Yeah, yeah I just had a baby in November. And um, thank you. She's yeah. gorgeous. Marlo's back in the dressing room. Thank she's you. just so, so beautiful. She's so sweet. Thank God she's letting me get some sleep. Otherwise, I don't know how I'd be writing the book at all, or, or here today for that matter. Sure, sure. <laughs> well, it, you really have a heart for helping moms, and you're doing that through uh, a special project. Tell us about that. I think it's incredibly important for, for moms to give back to other moms. I think there's so much drama with the mommy wars out there, and it's it's neat to shine a light on some of the positive work that's that's being done. So uh, I've teamed up with Medela, uh, who, who make breast pumps, and there was a woman in California who started a, a petition on change.org to take breast pumps out of the landfills, uh, and I'm, I'm a big believer in recycling as well. So uh, Medela stepped up to the plate, and they are taking our old used breast pumps that are collecting dust in our attics and turning them into new multi-use pumps for the mothers of NICU babies via Ronald McDonald House. So it's oh. a really cool opportunity for us to sort of get rid of something that, that might be, be sitting in a corner somewhere and, and actually benefit a new mom on her breastfeeding journey. Because the end of breastfeeding is, is really, I think, a vulnerable time for sure. women. And so it sort of makes moving on from that a little bit easier to bear. Yeah. So we can all recycle then. Absolutely. So if you go to the Medela Recycles uh, website, it's uh, that's the campaign, Medela recycles you can go to the Medela website and look for that and uh, and donate your breast pump or several who knows some people yeah. have more than one that's so. really important yeah so glad we had a chance to catch up with you me too thank you and I'm, I'm gonna have to come back when my book comes out so oh I, I hope talk so to you more about yeah that I'd love to hear more about it yeah thanks so much thank you for having me good luck with those sweet babies thank you they're adorable all right if you'd like more information on Jenna's book or her blog you can go to our website newschannel5.com we'll give you a link right there